Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 121 of my No GPS series. And in this one, we're taking a crane up to Tulsa. Let's get into it. Sounded a little country when I said that, didn't I? So we left off here at the Home Depot in McAllister. Right here, as a matter of fact. So we're going to come out of here, hang an immediate right, snake our way, hang a left, get back on this frontage road, I guess, to US 69 north hopefully they did lake you follow properly then we're gonna pass i-40 we're coming up here this is gonna confuse me because this is not big cabin big cabin would be up here the other issue i have with this is i-44 comes up like this into joplin in missouri and then comes across missouri and this is where the toll starts and then the big cabins here to go 69 or you come down so i don't know why this says 44 on us 412 so that kind of confuses me but more importantly i need the us 412 east and then i don't know if this is going to say I-44 East, if there's going to be a sign or a 244, but I need the first exit after this interchange. That's going to be fun. And then we're going to hang a right at the end of the ramp. And then we're taking a right after this fuel point. Walmart's on the right. High probability, I'm going to mess this up. If I don't, I'm going to be surprised. And for those that were not here in the last episode, that is the Mantawak Crane. I'll also have to reset my time and odometer when we get up there. Make sure got all the proper lights on. Alright, we're good. And I haven't decided yet you're watching this on Thursday well I don't know if you're watching this on Thursday but this video comes out Thursday the 31st of August and I don't believe there's gonna be an episode on September 1st 2nd 3rd 4th or 5th I think the next video will be next Wednesday if I was prepared, I would have known what that date was right off the top of my head. Uh, the 6th. So figure the next video being the 6th of September. And for those that don't know, we are headed to South Dakota for the weekend to see Dad, so... And I've pretty much screwed around all week. Well, I haven't really screwed around, just waiting. But we're leaving Friday morning because we can't drop the dog off at the, uh, the doggy daycare until Friday morning at 7.30. So I'm waiting till tomorrow, which is the day this video comes out, Thursday, to clean the house, do all the laundry, do all that crap. shift overnight. Alright, so let's get on 69 North. Stuff to the left is there coming into McAllister. I wonder if they're gonna put this big ass hill around this curve. I like how they have that cop sitting there too, because there usually is a cop sitting around this curve. Driving 
in this view, but I'm going to stay up here. Okay, so they don't have the hill. done that lake you follow way better but oh well way too much I get it I know the scales not right but as a American truck driver well retired that used to come up and down 69 quite regularly to the point where I could almost close my eyes and tell you where I was at depending on the bumps in the road um, that's why I'm nickel and diamond it. Like, there's cool little things they miss, like, Chakota was back there before Muskogee, but, and, and I get that a lot of, there may, may or may not be a lot of country music fans, but, um, Chakota is the hometown of Carrie Underwood. If nothing else, just put a cool little sign, like a little Easter egg. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So what's this going to be? Chateau or something like that? I think is what that sign was. This was kind of the easy part of the run. And I got sidetracked. I haven't even talked about my mental health appointment I had yesterday. I did bring up the medication and how I've been feeling. And uh, at first she was concerned because it's definitely not, that's definitely not how you're supposed to feel is lethargic. So she told me to keep an eye on it because Basically, a Saturday and Sunday were bad, but I felt fine and normal the last three days. But she did say, if... Really? Asshole? Oh, and then you get back over. Anyway, she did say, if... I do feel odd or weird or anything like that to... What in the hell are they doing? Forty four North Joplin. OK, 
Okay, I'm pulling up the map. That's how they... Alright. I don't... I would have to look at Google Maps again, but I'm pretty positive that 44 isn't even part of 412. Like they have this, that's why it confused me. And what do we got going on here? I'm getting sandwiched by trucks. So I need the 244. And then I said first exit after the interchange, but it's not this one. He's, he hopes. See that see that glitch over there unless that was just a glitch but I'm fairly certain I just drove off into nowhere yep see how those cars came out of the son of a bitch man all right where the hell are we yep we're over here somewhere so how I guess we're off of over here somewhere. <sighs> Holy crap. I knew this was going to be tricky, but I didn't think it was going to be that tricky because we saw this sign for 44, unless maybe I was looking at it wrong as I was driving past. Either way, um, somehow I need to spin around and get on... 412 something I don't I have no idea honestly have no clue how I'm going to fix this at the moment so we'll just come over here and put ourselves on the shoulder hopefully and not mess anything up okay beautiful Yeah, see where we're at on the map down there? <laughs> I don't even know. We're not where we should be, though. So now the question is... Oh, city name, city name. Um, what do I need from here? I don't know where this goes. It appears it's going to take us back to where... Yes, okay. So I came off of that way. Alright, well, that wasn't that bad. 
Oh, and the sun's going down too. Let me get that crap off the screen. Um, okay. 75 north of Topeka. No. Well, I want this. But now the hard part is going to be... Trying to figure out, looking at this spaghetti system of a roadway here and figuring out which exit I need. Holy shit. I have my brake pressed all the way down. But in my defense, I did change it the other episode down to 50% because I was pissed off about the tire screeching. So there's that. And plus I'm heavy. So let me pull up the map right quick because I have, okay, I still have no idea where we're at. I guess I am right here. So somehow I got lucky. And if we were over here, I don't even remember. I guess that was the interchange we just... So that would have been US 75 North. Okay. All right, well, somehow I... fixed it, I guess. Okay, let's go, cars. Oh, I, are, are you seriously trying to turn? Okay. Of course you are. Alright, so now we should take this down to a fuel point. I might have to adjust my brakes again. How heavy am I? 99,000. Okay, that would make sense. I just need to adjust. As you would in real life as well, I need to adjust for the weight that I'm hauling. So I need to start slowing down much quicker. Would be an easy way of fixing it. So I'll just leave my brake percentage at 50%. Or was it 70? No, it was 50%. Because in SES's Infinite Wisdom, it doesn't start at zero, it starts at 50. Well, at least I called it at the beginning of the episode that I was probably going to mess this up. Alright, there's the bus place. Why didn't that... Okay, now my... There we go. Yeah, so that's the IC bus factory. It appears this is a fuel point up here on the left. And then we need a right where those cars are turning or this stoplight. In 
Isn't that amazing, Ty, how much nicer that is when you uh, start slowing down sooner? It works out like a charm, doesn't it? Tulsa Rockport. You want to know something funny? This just brought back memories because that... <laughs> That fuel point is actually there, now that I think about it. Because I've had to stop there before to wait for my load to be ready at the port in here. Wow, that was kind of wild. So they got that right. <laughs> through here. Now, what what isn't correct, and I don't know what the base game um, business would be, but when you come in the port gate like that, there's not a Walmart in here. It's a bunch of uh, manufacturing facilities, basically. All right, there's the Walmart sign. I don't believe there are any distribution centers in try and think if there were actually distribution centers in here. I'm just going to go ahead and say that there maybe were distribution centers in that inside the gate here in the port, but I was running flatbed, so I'll be honest, I didn't really pay attention that much at van trailers sitting around. Can go straight out that way when we leave. Perfect. Alright, so lights off. Beacons off. Truck off. Actually, I'll reset the odometer. And then truck off. And then unload. Whew! Man, I'm kind of... <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad that's the last episode for a week. Wow. Anyway, that is Tulsa Gown 171. Now, part of me just wants to cut the episode there because I do have a trailer that needs updating. It's a flatbed, and I'm cautious to update that and be under a load just in case it does the whole game update thing. But let's see what's coming out here. So we need Oklahoma City, Enid, Woodward and Guymon. So it'd be nice if we could hit Oklahoma City, come up to Enid, and that way. Will that work out? It will. That's coming out of here. I don't need to drive anywhere. So load us up. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A John Deere R4045. Probably some of the most fun things to haul ever. Chained down nicely too. All right, perfect. We will see you next Wednesday, folks. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 121 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. And until the next one, Y'all take care. Bye.